Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Other than my uh, Happy Easter message, um, it's been about 35, 36 days since I've had a video up. And for that, I'm sorry guys, but uh, I hadn't felt it, man. Uh, you know, right after that video, I made the comment that, uh, you know, in the next day or so, I was going to try to get up maybe Stash Ad from Roanoke last month and that kind of stuff, but uh, hadn't been able to do it. And, you know, uh, some of you may know um, from the surgery last month, um, I could turn my head to the right okay, but turning it to the left, I was kind of having to move my whole body. Uh, but what I discovered after that last video was that uh, tilting my head down was kind of tough and sitting here at the workbench you know you kind of got to have your head tilted down still not a hundred percent but uh it's it's good enough that i can i can get back out here and do some things and man have i got a lot of catching up to do like i said 35 36 days now without a video and i'm used to doing at least two a week most of the time three um but but i haven't felt it um I, i've had a hard time resting on and off too uh, it's just one of those things of healing up, and I, I'm I am there though, guys. I'm I'm getting there really quick, but uh, I'm excited, and I want to say first of all, thank you um, for all of the well wishes. Uh, I appreciate Amanda doing the video that she did. Um, bless her heart. Um, she's she's been a great doctor and and nurse through this uh, recovery too, and I love her to death. Uh, so give her a shout out as well. I I really appreciate her. Um, but I want to say thank you for the cards, uh, the emails, uh, the gifts, and that's going into some of the stash ads, things like that I want to share with you as well. Uh, one of the things I do want to bring, bring up up front is this cool new t-shirt from Chuck over at Chuck's Hobby Spot. And as you see here, this is a close-up of the front. And here's what's on the back. Hey, Chuck, I can answer that question. Why do we watch this crap? We love it, man. It's fun. And we love you too, bud. But I want to say thanks to Chuck for this great t-shirt. And I also have something else from Chuck I want to share with you too. But uh, I did want to get back on here and get a video up now that I've got a little more motion in the neck and head and, and everything's looking good. Um, so uh, let me turn the camera around. We'll get into it. In addition to that awesome t-shirt, Chuck with Chuck's Hobby Spot also sent me a new shop card, as you see here. How do you not love that 32? And I really got to think about doing these two-sided cards. This is really cool. Of all the Tri-5s, I love the 55 the most. And this is the same logo that's on the t-shirt, by the way. Is that not cool? And there's your info on the channel. And if you're not familiar with Chuck's Hobby Spot, which I don't know how you couldn't be, he's also on the uh, podcast um with uh, Jason, Brian, and Luca uh, over at uh, Luca C channel, uh, the uh, Spotify uh, podcast that they do, guys. If you're not, if you haven't been watching that, you're missing out. You need to head over and do that. But first, go over to Chuck's uh, YouTube channel and check it out. Chuck is a um, an award winning builder. He is he is really quite a guy. Has some great tips, tricks, all that kind of stuff over there too. Uh, just a great, great builder. Check out his USAC 55 Ford uh, truck build. Uh, it is awesome. And while you're there, you got to check out his 49 Merc that he's working on right now. And one of my favorites that I've been kind of looking at, too, is that 59 El Camino he's doing uh, or has done. That, let me tell you, you need to go over and check that out. But uh, great, great stuff. Um, head over there and show him some love. Give him a sub. Um, and, and check out the videos. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Great stuff. So, Chuck, thank you, buddy. And also, thank you for the kit that he sent with the T-shirt and the card. Uh, another Plymouth Prowler. As you guys may remember, uh, year before last, I did one for the Theme Award in Atlanta, a Prowler. And uh, I wanted to do another one, and now I got one to do it with. Uh, I wanted to do one that's kind of a Petty's Garage take on a Prowler. Uh, or what I might think Petty's Garage might do with it. So uh, now I've got one. So Chuck, love you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Next up is another absolutely awesome channel, and that is Joe's Rust Shop. Uh, Joe, check out that. And by the way, while you're over there on his channel, um, 
check out his uh, 55. I love the color combos under the hood, everything about it. Great patina work here. And I mean, just great. And Joe, thank you for the, for the very kind words on the back. Appreciate you, brother. Really do. But uh, with each of these channels that I'm going to be sharing, guys, please go over, give them a sub, show them some love. You're going to learn something. You're going to see some great stuff. We have some great guys in this community. Uh, love them, everyone. Um, I enjoy this stuff, and, and being down has given me a chance to catch up on a lot of stuff. And um, uh, thumbs up on everything. I mean, it's just it just help help a channel out. Um, but uh, go over check out Joe's channel, Joe's Rush Shop. Absolutely cool name, great stuff there too. Um, and while you're there, by the way, you got to look at his '41 Chevy tow truck. This is this is really cool. But check it out. Also check out that one, as I said, his 55 uh, USAC build. And as you guys know, my first car that my grandfather bought brand new and gave to me was a 65 Mercury Comet. 289, uh, that little lightweight booger would scat too. Uh, three speed and uh, wow, what a car. Uh, he's got one over there that he built. You, you go check it out. You, you go check it out. You're going to really love it. Next up, Frank's Model Works. Now, this is another really cool channel. Now, y'all know I'm a Mopar guy, so the Charger is something here. But there's some great stuff here. He's got uh, um, a three-part, I think it's three-part airbrush um, intro use cleaning that's that's really good. And it, and it holds true for many airbrushes, too. Uh, and if you use an airbrush, you you know that stuff. But this 68 Charger, and also check out the Mustang uh, from Bullet. Just, just go over and check them out. Um, give him a sub, like I said. Show him some love. Uh, Frank, again, thank you for the kind words as well. I appreciate that and the get well wishes. Um, love you and appreciate you guys very much. And guys, again, let's blow that algorithm for model cars up on uh, YouTube. Give all these guys... Uh, a sub i know they'll appreciate it as well and lastly in the shop cards for right now um as i understand it from a few emails i've got a couple more coming but uh they ought to be here in the next day or two i would imagine but um this one is from bama scale models um i think it's michael and i could be wrong there uh there was no name but um check that out one of the porsche tractors Weathering wise, does that not look like it's a real tractor just sitting in a field? Just, just awesome bills. Uh, but you need to head over and check this out. Um, he does some awesome tutorials. He's got one on uh, vinyl tops, uh, detailing batteries, um, how to light a dash, which I've done that in a couple of cars over the years, and uh, it, it's it's a great tutorial. Um, no sense in in reinventing the wheel so to speak but go over there if you're thinking about lighting up a dash uh the lights in there head over and check it out how to make a tarp like you see a tarp in a diorama or something on a car he's got some really great ones as well as um cracked or broken glass how to replicate that um awesome awesome stuff but check these out <laughs> chevelle and check out that engine bay is that not just cool? But again, like I said, great patina work. Just some absolutely awesome stuff. So head over, Bama Scale Models, and check them out. Oh, that's our shop cards right now, guys. So next up is um, my stash from uh, uh, Roanoke. Uh, it's going to be light. And uh, the reason is it is, is Amanda and I spent so much time wandering around at the real car show um, then I had to dash back down, get the uh, uh, just a, a zip through of the vendors as well as uh, the cars. So uh, I didn't do a lot of shopping because she was doing vendors while I was doing uh, the models. But I want to share with you a few things I picked up. First up, I picked up another one of the uh, trailers from Wes's Model Car Corner. And we did a uh, look at this before, but I've got an, uh, a, another project that I'm going to need a trailer for. So... Um, there we go there. Uh, so I picked up another one of those. And uh, also, while I was there with Wes, I picked up a couple more distributors. I 
you can see that anyway. That's the uh, red cap. And you notice the boots on the ends. You know what? Let me get this camera down here where you can see a little closer. I've shared some of this with you before. But, uh, yeah, you can see that now. Well, if I can get focused. The boots, I mean, these are, these are just great. Great distributors. And you can head over to Wes's Model Car Corner and find these too. Um, and uh, they're by Concord, by the way. And this is the Magneto, the MSD Magneto. And let's see if you can check that. You've seen me show these before. There you go, MSD. Um, these come in different wires and, of course, different uh, distributor colors, too. Um, and I try to keep one or two in every color simply because, depending on the engine and the paint scheme on the truck or car or whatever it is, I want it to kind of match up. So I uh, picked up a couple more of those. Um, and let me get the camera back up here. And was over at Ace Decals and check it out. Um, a set of David Pearson. Let me get these out of here where we don't get the glare there. Uh, from the 85 Daytona 500. And there's two different versions. you got the straight numbers here and then the angled, which were from the uh, 85 Daytona 500. And I think the 80, you see, I, the other ones were uh, just the straight up ones for, I think it was the same year. It might have been the next year. Um, but I always thought this car was really cool, really unique. They also ran this, I think it was later on, in the number uh, 16. But the Chattanooga Chew car. But I just thought that was really, really cool. And one of the few places you can still get the Winston decals, because I know uh, a lot of uh, places um, kind of have a fit about that. But very cool stuff. So pick these up. And the last thing I got while I was there, uh, like I said, this was a really light um, haul. And by the way, guys, I'm not going to try to do all this in one video. Uh, I've got so much stuff that's been sent to me. And uh, again... Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love that you guys have been showing uh, through this recovery here, too. Ooh, turned my head the wrong way there. Picked up this 74 Plymouth. I saw in Hot Rod Magazine, uh, I think it was in 73, a drawing, a rendering of the 73 or 74 Plymouth in STP livery for Richard Petty before they knew he was going to go over to the Charger, apparently. And, uh, but it was this nose, it was this body style, but it was in that. And I always thought, you know what? It's a fictitious car, but at the same time, it would be very unique to do that. And that they had the sketch of the STP livery on this year car. I thought it was just kind of cool. So, uh, got the body pretty much for that purpose. But I think that it's going to be kind of a, a cool thing. The other thing I picked up there was I ran over to Matthew was his very first time vending at uh, a show and it looked like based on uh, the crowd I saw around his tables all day long I think Matt and his son had an absolutely awesome day I know they they got uh, <laughs> they got some of my money too <coughs> excuse me guys um but one of the things I picked up was this straight six. And you know what? I want to I want to do cover his products. And I picked up so much stuff uh, from Matt. I want to do a separate video just on uh, MCV products. And instead of doing that right now, this is one of the things I picked up. And I do want to show that to you real quick. And if you've not built a... Um, one of these 3D engines. It looks intimidating based on the supports and all that stuff. Yeah, this is a piece of cake, guys. Um, there, there's nothing to it. But uh, if you've, you've not built one of these, don't be intimidated by it. These things are absolutely awesome. Um, well, if you remember, let me grab this over here real quick. This is one of his... Uh, this is the Ford 460. And this looked just like this when it started. Uh, on the 3D printing, I guess, spruce trees, whatever you want to call it. Um, clean it up, paint it, 
Uh, the only two things that were not part of his kit was the breather, which was uh, parts by parks, and the, also the parts by parks, I'm pretty sure it was, um, glass packs. Um, everything else is 3D printed, and as you see, it is absolutely beautiful. These things build into awesome, awesome kits. Um, but that's how you start off, and don't be intimidated by these things, like I said. Um, but we're going to be taking a look at this one. I want to build this one just as a display because it's got the, the finned valve covers. I think that's an Offenhauser. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check it. But um, these things are absolutely awesome. And Matthew is doing a great job. He's got several guys that he uh, gets the uh, programs from. Um, and I'll be talking to you about something that I have in mind to do down the road too. Um, as far as NASCAR stock car parts. But uh, if you're not familiar, head over to mcvproducts.net. Uh, check it out. You're going to find some absolutely awesome stuff. Since 3D printing has come into, into play for model car building, this stuff is absolutely awesome. I mean, absolutely awesome. But uh, show Matthew some love. Head over, head over check out his channel and uh, his YouTube channel as well. Um, but, but check out these products. You will love them. Um, Guys, there is so much I need to cover. I want to do another video here. Um, that's the stash ads from uh, uh, Roanoke. And let's see, there's, gosh, there's so much I got to catch up on. I've gotten some other stuff in the mail too. I got something today. Um, but there's something special I want to do with that, and I'll share that with you. I've got um, my kit of the month from Salvino's, and it, you've probably already seen those uh, for this month or was it last month? I don't know. It's been so long since I've done a video. Uh, and you can tell because I'm rambling again already. Um, but I do want to show you that kit. And I want to do a comparison on the decals to some decals that have been around for about 10 years. Uh, maybe longer. But I uh, want to share that with you. But I do want to do another video, as I said, solely on uh, um, MCV products too. Uh, just great stuff. But, guys, I think that's going to do it for right now. Uh, I have missed you, and uh, I, I feel good just doing another video right now. Um, let's see. Oh, man, yeah, I got some other stuff in the mail, too. i got to share with you. The visit to uh, Petty Enterprises with Jim Rogers. I have not done a video on that because that was kind of right around just a few days before that surgery. So uh, I haven't even got that up yet. But I do want to share just a real brief one on that too. So got plenty of videos coming up. Uh, thank you again, guys, so much for everything that you do to support all of our channels uh, and the hobby as a whole. Um, we love and appreciate you for it. So guys, until next time, head over to Hobby Nut Models, check out Mark's inventory, pick you up some of that awesome MCW paint, uh, whatever supplies, glue, tweezers, you name it, uh, check out the model kits. Uh, he's got uh, a lot of the newest releases out there. Great prices too, so get over there and check him out as well. Guys, love you, appreciate you, God bless you, and I will see you next time.